time to talk about the pair. Hi, I'm Elaine with the Shepherds Fashions team. It's my pleasure to bring you our ninth body shape and style video. So as always, we work with shape, balance, proportion, color, texture, volume, all of those great style elements to bring you a balanced look. Today, we're working with Astrid. Astrid is a new team player here at Shepherd's Fashions. She's also a Pilates instructor. She's a master seamstress. Can't wait for you to meet her. She will explain to you her challenges in dressing her pear-shaped silhouette. Stay tuned at the end of the video. As per usual, we will have a little style nugget to share with you. Hi, I'm Astrid and I'm a pear shape. What that means is that the top part of my body is narrower than the bottom part of my body. The widest part of my body is at the hip. So as a classic pear, I'm quite narrow across the shoulders, small busted. I'm a little longer here through the rib cage down to the hip. I'm wide across the hip and my legs are shorter than I would like them to be. My major challenges in dressing are the discrepancy in size between the top and the bottom, especially because of the waist. If I find something that fits in the hip, it may or may not fit in the waist. This is really particularly important with a skirt, for example, where I might like a nice straight line, but if it fits in the waist, it might be just a little too snug in the hips. So let's style it up in view of balancing the pear shape. We're gonna start with color blocking. So we're going to start with a softer, lighter, brighter color on top. We're gonna to underfold this top, that's our starting point. And then, as you see, we're lengthening the leg because we've used a darker receding color on the bottom tonal shoes to work with the pant. And there we go. Now we're going to broaden the shoulder line with the help of a sweater. This is a lovely technique. It frames the face and it adds the volume exactly where we want it, again, over the shoulder. Here we are, color, color, and dark, a little darker on the bottom. You can see the difference here with the accessories, the impact that that makes to balance out the pear shape. We wanted to go to this jean. Uh, technically, it's not supposed to be so good. It does happen to look really good on Astrid. However, a narrow hem that has a lot of detail on the bottom, it's not the ideal design for the pear shape. However, the boot cut is. Okay, because it's fitted on the leg, it will caress those curves, those hips, but then it's going to flare out a little bit with an A-line at the bottom. When you select it in a rinse, dark indigo color like this of course well that's magical grazing the ground is good because that's going to lengthen visually the leg as much as possible the tailored jacket works it is structured on the shoulder line with a shoulder pad it fastens right under the bust repositioning the waist a little higher and then the hem falls over the widest part of the hip it, it lengthens the leg this green draped jacket works in a different way we wanted that wider hem to kind of jut off over the widest part of the leg. So that is a good slimming secret as well. The yoke at the back broadens the shoulder, which certainly is beneficial to the pear shape as well. Okay, now we've created a peplum. So that's basically a fit and flare. We've done that with two pieces layered together. So that soft little sweater with the band at the waist, and then uh, the peplum is done with the shirt underneath. Make a statement with the jewelry here, create that focus point right up by the neckline with something with some shimmer that the eye will hold on to. Okay, now this shirt is like it's perfect for a pair because as you see, it's fitted at the waist and then it juts out. Now we're going to make it even better with the use of accessories and really enhance the curve on the shirt. Circular shapes both in the earrings and the necklace so that reprises that shape. We're gonna wear a tank underneath, we're gonna pop up the collar and we're gonna open up the buttons push up the sleeves. We're going to belt it as well. So you see the blue zone effect. It gives the illusion of more bust, more waist, and a perfect uh, hip line. Two proven techniques to minimize the width of the hip. One, go tonal. Secondly, add length. Okay, so here you see the accordion pleat skirt. 
is divine in doing that, minimizing. And then we're going to accent again by framing the face with a scarf so it visually brings the eye up where we want it to go. We're going vintage here. Now the pair has a longer torso, so she can do a really nice width with her belt right under the bust line really is great. So the one loop tie beautifully accents here the waistline. And then it's again that fin flare. We're going to add the bolero for added structure, monochromatic look again. And we're adding accents always in the neckline whenever possible, whenever it's an open space like this. Thank you, Astrid, for modeling for our pear shape today. So let's talk signature style. It's the beginning of a new year, and so what better time to kind of take stock to figure out what you want to achieve in your style goals. We recently asked our viewers on a Fashion Friday segment what's most important to them as a fashion resolution. Most of the answers had to do with expressing your sense of style. So more so than fit, more so than choosing an outfit, it's more about what is the look that I've created? How does it express what I feel inside? We also encourage you to do our style personality quiz. It's really quite telling as to what style you are and why, again, you choose certain colors, certain looks, certain styles over others. It even speaks to your shopping pattern. You can go ahead on our website and take the uh, style quiz. It's a lot of fun. Hope that you've enjoyed this segment. And we will see you next week with another style segment. Let us know what you'd like us to focus on in upcoming videos.